Hey everybody, I'm Matt Hill. I'm here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, beautiful Gaylord Rockies. We're at the VPPBA. Introduce yourself. Yeah, my name's Dave Miller. I'm with a VPPPBA. I'm Director of Membership and Business Development. Uh, we're kicking off the 2024 Safety Plus Symposium. It's a health and management conference for everybody that is concerned about making sure their employees return the way that they arrived at work. Uh, I'm here today with one of our ambassadors, Boham. Boham, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Bob Hamilton. Um, I, I work for Dow Chemical and in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Um, been a part of the association for the better part of 29 years. I was on the board, uh, national board for about 10, 12 years. Um, I also go by Boham within a lot of the uh, the inner circles of the association. Um, that's a long story, different story. I, I'm getting that story one of these days. Okay. Um, <laughs> But I've been coming here, like I said, for a better part of 29 years. Um, even though I'm not on the board anymore, I come and, and help as much as I can, wherever I can, because um, I believe in the program. You know, it's it's uh, it's the premier. You know, it's not just a cliche. It's a premier um, safety and health program. You know, and and you know, like I tell people, you and I might be competitors in in the marketplace, but when it comes to safety. There's no competition. Everyone needs to work together, you know, share best practices, you know, where you might be weak, we might be strong and vice versa. We can help each other out. At the end of the day, like you said, everyone goes home the way they came to work, safe and sound. Well, Dave, uh, tell me, uh, tell everybody about this conference. Yeah, we, uh, we're expecting a little over 2,000 people at this year's event. We're really yeah. super happy about that. Uh, we have a consistent uh, pattern of growth year over year, and, and that's important because more and more people are understanding what we do, why we do it, and the value of attending, and they're able to take these best practices that we, we spoke of back into their workplaces. So it's a, it's a feeding frenzy in a really good way, right? Everybody learns from each other, and it takes a village to put this on. We have a, uh, we're considered a small staff association in the association world. It's less than nine people, and we can can't put something like this on uh, without volunteers like Boham and the many others that we have walking around today. Uh, we really try to make this an easy experience for people. Uh, behind us, we have self-registration. Everybody that registered beforehand received a QR code. They scan that, they print their badge, and they start their safety experience uh, in a very efficient way. So we're super happy that this has kicked off today. It's going to be three or four days of education, workshops, learning about the newest technology, how AI can enhance the workplace from a safety perspective perspective that's always very topical there's something for everyone here any certifications available here yes we had uh, I think it was over 40 uh, new uh, special government employees called SGEs yep. that were certified just yesterday uh, that's a big deal because when people are going for VPP status, it's those SGEs that come out and, and make the visits. Um, and sometimes that creates a backlog when we don't have enough of those folks. So as we get more and more of them certified, um, that increases the pace of certification. So we're really excited about that. And gosh, could talk forever about all the exciting things, no, but I, there's I more conversation I, to come. There's never enough conversation. Um, I, I like that you're in Dow Chemical. Uh, my dad worked uh, for Dow Well in Woodward, Oklahoma for many, many years till Schlumberger bought them up, but his background was uh, chemistry. And so I always like, you know, anytime I see them, I'm like, oh man, I got a heart for that kind of stuff. But how, where did, how did, where did you come from to get into safety from, you know, the, the chemical side? <clears throat> Well, I got, I got hired at Dow. We were Roman Haas initially, and Dow okay. bought us back in 2009. And um, went to Roman Haas right out of the Marine Corps. And I live... Thank you for your service. Thank, I live one mile from the plant. Right. And my mindset from almost day one, what happens at that plant can affect my loved ones a mile away. Yeah. A half a mile away, two miles away. Yep. So from day one, I joined the response team, got in its different safety committees, and then when our local union presented it to Roman Haas, our site, about getting into the VPP, you know, I was one of the one of the ones that volunteered to help put it together for our site. And Roman Haas was big into it. Dow's big into the program as well. Um, but I, like I said, I mean, if there's something that I can do where I work at least to minimize the, the potential impact on the community, my love, and especially my loved ones. I'm all about being involved and, and helping out wherever I can. 
D Dave and I talked about that. It's it's fascinating. You know, you when you're younger, you want to change the world, and you think big ideas. You know, like hey, this needs to happen, and it'll save everybody. But you know, yeah, I get older and sentimental. I'm like, maybe I just change one life, and and I protect one person one time. Right, exactly. You know, you you just never know. Uh, so I'm I'm on the board of uh, the MSEPS group in Oklahoma, and it's an oil and gas, you know, kind of centered, all the safety guys come and meet up there. But it's part of a national group called STEPS, and now there's another one out there called the uh, Onshore Safety. And, and so there's several groups forming, but we need to continue to work to partner with really big organizations. This is really big now in my head, right? And it's filling up, yeah. You know, overlap, come together. I've been, go I've been stepping out and going to the natural disasters conferences, working with first responders and bringing them. I mean, how fascinating is that? And sad for our state of affairs, but we, eighty percent of our firefighters, it happens all the time. Just yeah, have. <laughs> He's my producer, ladies. <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> But 80% of our firefighters in the in the world are volunteers and untrained. And so step out, see what you can do, join organizations that build up your awareness of all the possibilities for you to protect other people. Absolutely. Well, thank you everybody for the time. Bo, yeah. thank you for being a volunteer. And God thanks bless to you. all of you other folks here that yeah. are volunteering today Dave, as well. Good job. This is fat this is fabulous. Love it. Take care. God Take bless care, everybody. Bye-bye. God bless. See you.